It's raining men. Hallelujah. So it's man month here. Man, man month. Man effect. That's right. So we're talking about man stuff. We're talking about fighting bears. We're yeah. Talking about killing innocent people. Yeah. We're talking about sexual relations and... <laughs> talking about beards beards the the like how you judge a man exactly never judge a book by its cover but you will judge a man by his beard that's by what the I've length always and said. girth of his beard yep and as you can tell i am no longer a man i've had my man card stripped from me with my inability to grow facial hair I deem the a manlet <sighs> be gone from my sight manlet <laughs> so beards i didn't want to talk about this today because i can't grow a beard as i've already said and it, it makes me kind of sad. I'm not going to lie. It makes me a little bit sad. But I think it's important to know where beards come from. Obviously, they come from your face. Not just, not just men, though. Women can grow True. beards sometimes, too. Uh, they would be in circuses a lot of the times. Most it's of the, the time, bearded yes. woman. Which, uh, you know, if you want to grow a beard as a woman, more power to you. More than I can do as a man. So, <laughs> you know, you can take biotin. It's supposed to make your hair grow. Have you tr- How do you even know what that is? It's in all, like... Beard growth products that have How do you not. Know that? I have not researched it. That's for sure. Beards. What purpose do they serve? People like Zach would have you think it's just so you can tell who is a manlet at a glance. That's not true. I don't want you to do that. Well, naturally, but unfortunately for Zach, that is exactly what they're for. Yep. And there's even some scientific scientific evidence to suggest <laughs> that women actually choose mates based on. Beard status. I'd like to enter that study because I do have, in fact, a mate, and I do not have a beard. Have I just found the outlier? I think that you're a pity case. So Charles Darwin, you know, that's a scientist yeah. kind of guy, and sort of. He developed this theory of evolution. Maybe you've heard of it. In the evolutionary theory, there's the idea of vestigial adaptations. Things yeah. like your, um, what is it, Zach? Your gallbladder, which is the one that you don't need. Appendix. What? Wesley says it's your Why appendix. Why are you asking me these your questions? Your appendix, shut up, Zach, <laughs> is an organ that you don't actually need. All it does is kind of make you sick. Yeah. It's vestigial. It can kill you. It's no longer needed. Right. So beards are kind of vestigial, too. It's thought that at one time we needed beards to keep us warm in the winter. Mm. Well, clearly they don't need that anymore because they figured out how to kill deers and wear their skins on our on faces. On our faces. Right. Just like a beard. You just see a guy with beard fur. <laughs> so instead of doing that, maybe now beards are... Um, an indicator of the manliness of a man, you mm. know, can be related to uh, how good a provider they might be for a potential mate. So I mate, can, wait, hold possibly. on, let me follow this logic all mm-hmm. the way. So you, because you can maintain and grow facial hair, you can equally maintain and grow a family. Well, you got to think, <laughs> Zach, you got to think. You have to be a man to grow a beard, right? Sure. If you're a man, Not more of a man, but sure. you're going to have other Manly, okay. Manly quality, so, such so a strength. So ideal, you know? ideally, mm-hmm. I am in the lumberjack yard, right, cutting up big old trees, and I hog like two huge logs over my shoulder, yeah. and I have my plaid on, obviously, and um, I have this huge bushy beard, and all the girls just fall over with desire. That's pretty much how it happens. Yes. Okay. I need except to get on that Except you got to think, instead of being a lumberjack and carrying logs, they were hunters and they were carrying dead boars or something over oh, that's shoulders. even better so, yeah blood little blood yeah oh yeah, a lot oh. of blood yeah a lot of blood you gotta aim that for the neck when you spear them so blood gets the ladies blood boiling <laughs> you heard it here first <laughs> scientific breakthrough if you want to if you want to the best pickup line is just go to a bar completely drenched in blood <laughs> and whoever doesn't run away is who you should be with <laughs> absolutely put them in your little basement uh cellar and you know Drop them a line with some lotion. Wow. Tell them to put that lotion that on. reference. All right. So all this Charles Darwin nonsense. Right. Is it true? Is it real? Well, scientists have done a couple of studies, and they've found that while not all, m- most women actually do prefer men with beards. Maybe that's why it's coming back, man. It's a fad now. It does seem Gotta to have be. a beard. Gotta have a beard. I'm actually doing No Shave November. Oh, me too. That's cool. It's so been, uh, how long have you been It's actually only been now? like two days. Thank okay. you. Okay. But um, you'll, you'll see by the end of uh, November that I will only have a tiny bit of fuzz right above my upper lip and maybe some black hairs here um, and some stragglers. That's it. That's all that happened. A Impressive. month. Impressive. So you might be wondering yourself, what kind of beard should I grow? 
You know, there are a lot of different styles, and they include mustache, Van Dyke style, fedora wearer, full beard. Never go full beard. The goatee. A carefree lover. (laughs) Next up we have... Sideburns joined by mustache. Also known as a bridge over troubled water. Unibrow. Caveman chic. Okay, so back in the day, in some cultures, uh, having a beard was a sign of respect and honor. And to have your beard torn out or cut off was bad juju. So a lot of times criminals, um, especially if they were going to be executed, the crowd would pull out their beards and stuff like that to show their dishonor, and that would really hurt. Now the Romans, how were they they on beards? What was their... Was well, it, as, a, his, mean, as when a historian, you, when you look back at you know some of the sculptures from that time, you don't really see a lot of bearded guys. Yeah, they were they they equated a lot of those things to bar like to barbarians. So that was about the time actually that um, uh, like clean shavenness and hygiene were a sign of class and uh, like just being uppity. Turns out we've come full circle back back the to other barbarians. Way, yeah, that's what we're yeah, doing. We're, we're modern day Vikings. Mm. Sure, except we're not as cool. Not as cool. This all makes me very sad. I, I wouldn't can almost make it. hear your follicles squealing. No, we're so tiny. Help <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> we're so weak and defenseless. <laughs> Zach, help. Not Give us some of that biotin or whatever. <laughs> Every time you shave, you're killing a thousand little, little baby masculine. I keep hoping they grow hairs. back stronger, but that's actually a myth, too. I looked that up. Let's talk about that. Yeah, there's actually a myth that if you cut. Uh, places of your hair, like anywhere on your body, that it will grow back thicker and stronger. And that's actually not true. Um, a lot of studies have found that what people perceive are just the ragged edges. So if you feel it and it feels thicker or more rough, it's because you slice them with a knife or a razor or whatever. Um, and so they actually feel like that. And then it's also the fact that we don't really notice it growing back until it all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're like, oh, wow, I really need to shave. It seems like it took a lot less time to get to this point than before, and really, it's, it, it didn't. The, so confirmation bias, basically. Yeah, essentially. Wonderful. So that's, that's not true, because I tried shaving every day, and it doesn't do anything. Well, honestly, it doesn't make any sense. Why would cutting something in your hair have anything to do with growing faster? Like the thing underneath your skin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Not I didn't true. know a guy with uh, incredibly long armpit hair that he said it was because he tried to shave his armpits once, and I don't think that was true. I don't think that's he true He also either. smelled really bad. I'm not going to say his name, though. Just shame him silently. You know who you are. (laughs) So thank you for watching this weird episode on beards. If you have any manly topics you want us to...